Hello, friends. I hope you're doing all right. I am still myself enjoying the the uh, glow of what we enjoyed this past week with Good Friday and Easter. What a joy it was to be together and to worship. Thank you for being here and um, celebrating the triumph together of what Christ has done in being raised from the dead and pulling us with him up into resurrection life now uh, in Christ spiritually and one day to be completed physically in the new heavens and the new earth. So um, I'm happy. I hope you are too. And um, I'm really looking forward to being together again this coming Sunday. We will be back in the Gospel of Mark. We're going to be back in chapter four of Mark, picking it up at verse 21. We're going to look at three parables. And um, let me encourage you to just read those uh, before coming into church. They're, they're a little bit, uh, I don't know, elusive or something like that in terms of uh, what what the Lord Jesus is communicating there. Let me ask you to maybe ponder the following question as you come in. What is the common thread to those three parables? The lamp under a basket, the seed that grows, um, you know, we don't perceive it uh, uh, growing, but it, it grows and bears fruit eventually. And then the parable of the mustard seed. What's the common thread? I think there's something that the Lord is telling us through those three parables that we need to hear, I need to hear. And so let's come together under the word of God. Let's sing and pray. And uh, oh, actually this coming Sunday, I'd like to do something a little different. And that is uh, speaking of prayer. I'd like us to, well, let me say this. I've, I have been convicted that I am not leading this church in prayer the way I need to. I want to grow in this. Let's grow together in becoming a praying church. So what I'd like to do is uh, nothing weird, but just have some focused, ex unhurried and extended time in prayer together, sort of as the culmination of our service this coming Sunday. So everything will be pretty much normal. I'll preach maybe a little shorter. And then I'd like us to go uh, um, into um, prayer. We're gonna do one or two fewer songs and, um, and have some prayer time together. I just, uh, I'm aware that there's a lot of adversities that you are facing. Um, a lot of hospital visits, a lot of um, relatives that you long for them to come into the gospel. Um, many of you are battling discouragement. Um, we've been two years navigating this, pandemic, which has had all kinds of difficulties associated with that. Let's go to God together um, even more explicitly than we often do. Um, Sunday morning is not the only time that I way that I want to grow as a praying church, maybe not even the main way, but it is one way. So we'll do that together. So I will see you on Sunday for church. Can't wait. Um, as we come out of Easter and go through the spring, continuing through Mark's gospel, I love you. I'm thankful for you. Um, let's encourage one another. Let's honor one another. Let's keep being the family of God. And uh, so I'll see you soon. In the meantime, don't you dare forget that the Lord Jesus loves you with all his mighty heart. <laughs>